So I see a couple things. There's a lot of focus on revenue realization at this point um, and driving additional value to the network, as well as a lot of cost savings around um, getting costs out of the network as well. There's three main ways to do that. Some are short-term focused, and then some are long-term focused. Um, I see a lot around alliance planning. Uh, that typically generates a little bit more revenue. Uh, to the network, we've seen in upwards about 3% uh, system revenue increases. The other would be um, short-term scheduling activities, uh, so focusing on things like con connectivity. So we're seeing a lot of different mergers and acquisitions and different alliances in today's environment. And what the alliance planning allows a carrier to do is be a little bit more competitive by adding beyond destinations outside of their network and gain additional revenues. Uh, we've seen some cases up to 3% of uh, additional system revenues. So this could be anything from short term to next schedule season, but essentially what it does is it optimizes the carrier's um, frequency planning, looks at connectivity to make sure that there's the right passenger flows from one direction to the other, and ultimately plans out where that demand is and allocates capacity to best fit that demand. Uh, we can do that from the short term schedule all the way out to next seasonal planning. Um, the, the further out you go, the less constrained the schedule can be, so you can do a little bit more scenario planning there to gauge what your competitors might be doing. But in many cases, we've, seen, we've had a lot of success here where we've seen incremental revenue increases from anywhere from a half percent in the very short term for just making minor modifications all the way up to three to five percent for major schedule modifications. There's a lot of aircraft aging nowadays, so some carriers are looking at cutting costs related to fuel burn or maintenance and, and things like that. And then the other opportunities are around uh, refleeting opportunities. So again, there's short term and then there's long term opportunities here. So if you're looking at replacing fleet types or uh, growing your fleet, typically that is a more of a long term decision. Uh, but we also have the ability to look at short-term scheduling and fleeting where you look only a few weeks out